it is Monday and welcome to another week. We are starting this week off on a very high note. We are going home. We have been in the hospital for almost exactly a month now. We were kind of here for a few weeks before that. So we've been here a lot lately and we're very excited to go home. I can't even tell you. I'm definitely not cured and I still have some little things going on, but there really isn't a cure. A shunt is not a cure, it's just a tool. I do have a lot of recovery to still do. I'm very, very weak, so I'm not even really close to my baseline. I am still healing from my leg surgery and the back surgery and all this crazy stuff, but from here, I think we can take it from home. And I think that especially getting that rest is just gonna make the biggest deal. Look who's together again. Oh, a reappearance of Rachel. <laughs> we're just waiting for transport, so we're saying our goodbyes. By texting all day long and awesome. they are dropping into each other's. Yeah, you've been like right there. Yeah. So we're next That's door so neighbors. <laughs> so right now they have the same kind of shunts and they do. We're twins. but yeah. But, but different, you know, some people have higher pressure than others to yeah. begin with, so some people need more anti-siphon guards or maybe a different size valve. Mm -hmm. All the doctors are learning a lot from, from these girls. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> it's not easy for the patients or the doctors to be the pioneers. Or the parents. Or the parents. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Do you want to say hello to all the sure. mothers out there? All the mothers out there. Hi. Hi, mom. <laughs> Recliner mom. Oh, That's okay. This is my bed. You've heard of hockey moms? Well, we're the hospital moms, right? <laughs> all right, we're going to say goodbye so we can get ready for transport to bring us down. Bye. I'll check in with you guys Bye. later. Bye. Are you talking about them? <laughs> for those of you who are asking last week, how I manage the long car rides. This is basically how I set up my seat. You can see I have like the back of one of my support braces and then I have the cushion for my wheelchair and then I have like the pregnancy pillow that goes all the way around. And then of course I got my neck pillow. This is my squishy pillow we call it. Squishy. And then I have this pillow, and of course, I take this one, put it behind my neck. It helps support my neck even in the neck brace. And then this one I usually keep on my lap, like this, to just give me something to grab onto for stability. And this one was actually sent to me by a viewer and a friend, Katie, who made this when I got my port. It actually has Velcro on it to go onto the seatbelt strap. But now I'm kind of using this more to protect my shunt than my port. So it's actually been really helpful. So thank you very much, Katie. This is pretty much what that ends up looking like. I look pretty insane, um, but I am pretty comfortable. Every time she goes over a bump, I'm not getting like jostled from side to side, which is really nice and has actually allowed me to start sleeping in the car for the first time in my life. I've finally been able to relax a little bit. Oh, and usually I have my earphones on too, so. Just to get the full effect. That's what it takes to keep me comfortable in the car. <laughs> Honestly, I did not expect goodbyes to be so difficult this time, but not only were we leaving the friends that we already had, but saying goodbye to like the nursing staff and the aides and just the staff in general was actually so hard. A lot of them were so young, not too many years older than me, having just come out of school and it was just, it was a wonderful hospital stay experience which sounds like a crazy thing to say because nobody wants to be in the hospital, but the staff was just so fantastic that 
they made it bearable. And somehow we got invested in each other's lives and you just, you really hope the best for them. And I know that they probably feel that even more strongly working in a field where you're taking care of somebody and then they go home and you kind of don't know what happens to them. So if any of the Penn State staff are watching this right now, hi. And thank you so, so, so much for being my friends and family for the last month. I truly appreciated every single one of you. We never had a single bad nurse. I agree wholeheartedly. And that really makes all the difference. When you're in the hospital, you gotta get in with the nurses because they can make your life easy and they can make your life really hard if you're an annoying patient. <laughs> but I mean they are really patient. They with, are wonderful. With okay guys, so my camera died and I have no idea where my replacement battery is. But we are home. I can't believe it. We're home. We are about to walk in the house for the first time in a month. But first, oh my gosh, the air is so nice. This fall air. Take it in, Mama. Oh, baby. I cannot wait for my own bed. Okay, so I admit that this is a little excessive. I may or may not have an online shopping problem. To be fair, some of these are gifts. Found my battery, but yeah, as you can see, it's gonna take me a little while to sort through all of this stuff. But what I did notice is that I have my little package from Wego Health and I'm so excited. So I'm gonna leave all the other packages to be sorted and opened another day, but I'm just gonna open this one really quick. Ah, this is so exciting, I can't even believe it. So you guys remember I was telling you about this for the last few months and I was leaving a link down in the description for you to endorse me. And I ended up becoming a finalist in the Lego Health um, Patient Advocate Awards. So they sent me a awesome t-shirt and a little finalist's card and this amazing selfie stick, which I assume is to take a selfie in my new t-shirt. So I guess I'm gonna have to do that tomorrow. It's crazy to think that I could go all the way and end up getting to take part in a lot of really exciting, special things. But you don't actually have to be a finalist to take part in their ceremony. They're having this huge like online party and you can like go to the awards online because obviously most of their advocates are patient advocates who are dealing with their own health issues and can't travel. So they're just making everything really accessible to as many people as they can. I think that's fantastic and I'm so excited to be a part of it. Hi guys, it is Tuesday and it is my first day home after being in the hospital. I'm just settling back in, trying to get back into the routine of things. It's been surprisingly difficult, honestly. This last hospital stay has kind of been my longest hospital stay yet. And I guess I just got used to the routine of it. Now I just have to figure out like how I fit back into my old life if that makes any sense. I've got a lot of things that I need to get done in a timely fashion and I'm realizing that I'm not gonna get all of those things done in that time, which is very frustrating for me. Like, I was supposed to have a video uploaded for you guys yesterday and there's another video that I'm working on that I've been working on for a long time that needed to be up like a while ago, but it's not. And I have a couple art projects that I don't know if I can talk about yet. And a bunch of Etsy orders that I have to get done. Not to mention all of the unpacking and sorting. Uh, it's a lot. And I can just do so very little right now, to be honest. My endurance is pretty bad. I'm really still trying to get used to just functioning with this shunt. It's been a tiring day. I feel like I'm gonna have to take a nap, but I did want to show you guys this. This is pretty interesting. Before I left, I found this online because before I left, I had just broken my neck brace 
again. I've broken so many neck braces usually in my sleep. So when I went to order the replacement brace, I saw that they had a new attachment available, which excited me because I am really lame. It's called like their ICU attachment and it looks absolutely ridiculous if you wear it around during the day. It looks like this and it looks like you've got some kind of like weird Pope hat going on, but it is fantastic for when you are trying to sleep in the brace and lie on it because for me, I don't know about you guys, this plastic part here digs directly into all of the hardware and screws that I have at the base of my skull. And it's actually one of my like top 10 worst sources of pain is like, one of those screws and the nerve that runs around it. So this is amazing. I like really wish that I had had it with me on the trip. It came like the day after we left, but it really, really like you can see it's got like two layers of foam. This one is a really soft, nice foam. This is great. And I know you guys don't like sleeping in these things. Nobody likes sleeping in these things. And this could just potentially make that a little bit easier. It's never going to be perfect, but this definitely makes a big difference. So I just ordered it, I paid out of pocket. I'm sure that you can have your doctor order it and maybe your insurance will cover it. I'll just link where I ordered it from. I think it was like $65, so it's not cheap, but this thing is gonna save my life. So anyway, I'm gonna take a nap. I'm gonna put this on and I'll talk to you guys later. Looks ridiculous. So comfy. Woohoo! I get to say goodbye to this saline pump and hello to a new one. Apparently every year that you're on a pump, they send you a new pump. I thought that the worst thing these things could do was beep all the time, but it turns out not beeping is even worse and that is what this one does. It's giving me no feedback here, so I am not sad to see it go. New pump, new pump, new pump, my new pump. Well, new to me, new and refurbished. This little guy is going to be my buddy for the next year, so I think it's time to test it out. For those of you who are playing at home, I think it's time to ask the question, will it beep? Thank God! <laughs> it works! So far. Probably the first time that that's ever been music to anybody's ears. Good morning, people. It is Wednesday. I just finished attending the first day of the online WeGo Health Awards ceremony, which was kind of cool. I say attending because it is online. Therefore, I got to go from bed I'm wearing my WeGo Health finalists t-shirt. I've just been attending all of their live streams and just interacting with some of the other people and you know, filling out all my profile information, stuff like that. But tomorrow we find out if I am the winner for the YouTube or if it is going to go to one of the other wonderful nominees. I honestly really, really, I don't want to say I don't care if I don't win because I care because you guys have gotten me here, but I personally feel like whoever wins really 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 deserves it like there's just so many amazing people one of them is a fellow EDSer and the things that they're doing are awesome and I just I want to see them all do well so I will have no ill will <laughs> should I not win and I'm just glad to be a finalist and thanks guys you know you got me here but now I'm feeling kind of frustrated like my vision is not good today. I woke up and it was just like, I feel like I'm looking through a fish tank or a filter or something. My eyes are so blurry. And after everything I just went through with the shunt to try to get my vision back, it's, it's frustrating. And not only that, but like I have a lot of things I'm trying to get done. Uh, one of which is editing. I don't even think I can do it. It feels like an especially difficult blow because, you know, I'm being nominated and praised for something that I feel like I'm kind of falling behind on. All of my last few weeks videos have been late, but at the same time, 
I just, I can't control it. I'm trying to be gentle with myself about that, but it's not easy. It really isn't. I'm trying to find that balance between just taking care of my body, but also using what I do have. It's definitely a balancing act that I'm going to be doing for the rest of my life. And I just have to figure out where that sweet spot is. So I don't know, maybe I need to take a nap and I'll wake up on the right side of the bed this time. <laughs> Having this shunt has been a bit of a roller coaster so far. It just, all of this seems to have taken quite a toll on my body and I don't know if I can explain what brain changes feel like to people who haven't been through it, but I liken it to, you know, you hear about people who have concussions and traumatic brain injuries and they have to relearn how to do things and stuff like that. And the brain, it heals miraculously. It is able to rewire things in a way that is beyond our comprehension. But at the same time, it is exhausting to recover from any kind of brain trauma. And in the last couple months, my brain has been through a lot. And it's taken its toll. So things that you don't even have to think about, like walking and talking and breathing, are things that I do have to think about right now. And that are really, really difficult. The only way I can really explain it is I feel like I am operating my body instead of living in it or being it. It's very manual. It takes a lot of thought. When I walk, I have to tell each of my muscles and joints to move and I have to remind myself to breathe. When I try to read, I have to manually figure out how far something is from my eyes and refocus my eyes to that depth. And most recently, I'm struggling to figure out if I am hot or cold because I cannot tell anymore. <laughs> it's just, it's a lot. My surgeon's calling it angry brain and I think I agree with him. My brain is mad. We did a lot, we changed a lot, we put things in my body. My mast cells are reacting to those things in my body, which is setting off all of my other issues with POTS and my feeds, and I can't even get into it right now. So, I am going to make an executive decision right now that I am not going to edit that video, and that I am going to go outside, and I am going to take some deep breaths of fresh air, and then I'm going to come back inside and I'm going to lie down and I'm going to take a nap. And then maybe later I can edit my video. I think it's time that I started prioritizing my health a little bit more. Plus, I have theater tickets tomorrow and I really don't want to jeopardize my ability to make it to that show. Wow. Within the same sentence I said, I'm prioritizing my health and then I'm prioritizing theater. I didn't say I wasn't a work in progress. Oh, look at my garden. Oh, it looks so lovely. My dad made sure it looked pretty for me to come home to. This is what I missed when I was gone. I'm wearing my unicorn slippers. I probably should have put shoes on. Fun fact, these wild sunflowers here that we have in my garden and then we have some in the front are clippings from the original sunflowers that were in my great grandmother's backyard. So my dad grew up going to his grandmother's house and seeing these sunflowers and now we have a piece of those sunflowers here with us still to remember her by. And I think that's one of the reasons why I've always loved Sunflower so much. I just always feel a lot closer to her when I'm here. And another fun fact, if you're wondering what it smells like here, it smells very strongly of rosemary, which is actually my very favorite herb. And that is because we have these special little rosemary bushes here. 
And here, I forget the kind of rosemary, but I absolutely love the purple flowers. And I've got some basil over there as well because I really, really like the smell of basil and also my family likes to eat it. So yeah, this is my happy place, you guys. This is where I belong. See, you guys, this is what I needed. This is exactly what I needed. Oh, and if you're wondering what this is, uh, this is one of those big hot water bottles that I told you guys about before. It's uh, called a UU bottle, Y-U-Y-U. I can link it down in the description. Um, I had one for a while. I had the, the gray polka dotted one, and they're amazing. And I just kind of like put it down my entire back or like down my entire leg. But somehow we lost the cap, I think, but I'm on this place bit. I can like feel her rolling her eyes at me, but I think she misplaced it when we were at the hospital one time. So I emailed them and asked if they had any replacement plugs that I could buy. And instead, they just sent me this whole new one in green, which is awesome. We've been calling it the green bean bottle because it just looks like a giant string bean and I love it. <laughs> Yeah, no, I've been carrying this around absolutely everywhere. You guys know me and my hot water bottles. I would say hot water bottles are literally my number one pain reliever. Also, since we did head home from the hospital, a few of my care packages and letters have arrived here instead. And so I did just want to open up those on camera like I did the ones in the hospital so that it's fair for everybody. I think I found everything, but I'm really excited about it. So let's just do it. This first one I already actually took out of the shipping container because I thought it was something that I ordered, but it wasn't. And this is from Brook B all the way in Hawaii, which is so cool. So the watercolor stuff is for me. And this matcha powder is for my mom to try out. And I think my sister might give it a try too. I hear a lot of stuff about matcha and like putting it in lattes, but also putting it in like baking and smoothies and stuff. So let me know if you guys like matcha and how you best like to prepare it. I'm super, super thankful, Brooke. This was just so nice. I mean, these are beautiful paints. I'm going to get a lot of use out of these. Next, I have an envelope that came all the way from Portugal, which is so awesome. And I thought this was kind of hilarious. It says, beware of cat hair on the back. So thank you very much. I already sliced it open because that's hard to do with one hand. What do we have here? Oh, it's a little postcard. It's so cute. Thank you. Is it Launa? Luna? So very cute. Little things from Portugal. Little things make the best memories. That is so true. Then we have this little card in there, which is so, so pretty. She said she found it on a trip and it reminded her of me which is really sweet and this is definitely very much my style so thank you for that and then there's an amazingly sweet letter in here that i'm not going to read to all of you but thank you so so much launa luna sorry if i can't say your name it's very very appreciated and i love it when you guys write me letters this one here is from california Oh my goodness, there's a lot in here. So the packaging says this is from Yvonne. So let's see. Oh my goodness. What is this? Ooh. Oh, it's like an exfoliating mitt. Cetaphil wipes. These are literally what I've been using every single day and I just ran out. I'm not kidding you. There's lip balm. And what is this? Oh my gosh. These are hair ties. That is amazing. You definitely know how to send a hospital care package. I feel like I should just put like all of these aside in a bag for the next time I have to go to the hospital so I don't have to pack anything. There's actually more here. Oh my goodness. What's this? Oh, here's a card. I was wondering if there was a card in here. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, Yvonne, you are so sweet. This is too generous. See, now this is perfect. This is like one of those just travel bags. I'm going to put all of that stuff in here and just have that be my go-to hospital bag. What is this? Oh my gosh. That is too funny. It's a pen with a little 
fuzzy, sparkly zebra print cupcake on top. I will certainly never lose my pen ever, ever again. <laughs> Ooh, I missed. Oh, lip bonbon. Tinted lip balm. Ooh, I wonder what color it is. I'm going to try that in a second. Vino. All right, this is perfect. That'll go with the hospital essentials. Hand sanitizer. Wait, is this like a... What? It's like a pen, but it's not. Hold on. Oh, okay, guys. It's a spray. Incredible. And then she put in a couple of sheet masks. And, of course, the all-important socks which are very very well themed wow avon this is crazy thank you so much you literally just packed my bag for me next time we have to go to the hospital i'm actually gonna put all of this in this bag right now except the lip balm i want to see what color that is all right what do we think guys is it a shade it actually looks really pretty i quite like that all right then that's going in the bag in case there's any cute residents around. Next box was so beautifully decorated, but I can't really show you since it's my address. But this is from Monique. She wrote me this really sweet little letter explaining everything in the box with all these little sunflowers on it. So I already really appreciate everything that I'm about to open. First, there's... Okay, this must be the diffuser spray. This spray has all of the oils that helped her when she was in the hospital in the ICU and they were trying to get her breathing. So it's kind of a special and sentimental smell to her. I can't wait to give it a sniff. Oh, then we have these beautiful little origami stars. Wow, those are really, really intricate. That's so cool. I want to like hang these from my ceiling. They have little strings on them, so I could. Perfect. I'm totally doing that. Then we have this little bag, which she made. I think, what did you say? You made it from a silk kimono fabric? Some special little treasures inside here from you and your friend. Sea class from the beach, which is really great since I didn't really get to go to the beach much this summer. Ooh, a really pretty anklet. A little piece of quartz and this gorgeous little wire-wrapped treble clef from her friend. And then I was told to expect two little elephant items. Oh wow, that's adorable. I'll definitely be wearing that. Very, very cool. Beautiful, wow. The last things down here, she called pass-alongs from her art collection. Oh yeah, okay, so there's like a little bracelet and some yarns and stuff she said i can either use them or pass them along to a friend who needs them so we'll see if i have some use for them i love gifts like that i love regifting. that's definitely something we do a lot of in this house thank you so much monique and thank you to her friend josephine as well and this very last package is from leslie who also drew sunflowers on her letter which is just the cutest thing ever that you guys have picked up on my love of sunflowers so much and so she sent me, oh, oh, these, oh, perfect. I think that these are for embroidery. Look, they're little sunflower oh, stickers. Cute. Oh, those are so cute. I'm going to have sunflowers everywhere. But she sent these little bags, or is this a bag? Oh, it's a tote bag. Oh, just imagine how much embroidery I can put on this. Now that will be a project. Thank you so much, Leslie. That was really sweet. I definitely love it when you guys send me projects to do because I never have too many projects. Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Today's actually a really exciting day for me. In about 10 minutes, they're going to be announcing the winners for the YouTube prize of the WeGo Health Patient Advocacy Awards. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see who wins. I would love to win, but I would also love to see my fellow nominees win as well it's just so exciting unfortunately my laptop will not connect to the internet so i'm just watching it on my phone which just seems like a little bit more anticlimactic than watching it on my laptop for some reason but that's okay you know i'm connected so i'm really excited about that 
I also am going to see a musical tonight with my cousin. We're going to see Jekyll and Hyde the Musical, which is one of my favorites. I absolutely love this musical and I don't really know why. I think it's because I grew up loving classic horror and Jekyll and Hyde in general. And then I have the DVD and it's just, it's so good. I'm so excited. This has honestly been one of the driving factors of me getting home and getting better. I was like, I have tickets. I am not missing this. I'm feeling a little bit more um, optimistic than I was yesterday. I was having some really bad vision issues and headaches and just kind of feeling like, ugh, what did we go through all that for if I still feel the same? But then we had like a huge storm and everything got a lot better. So I think because I'm kind of teetering on the high pressure side of the shunt settings that I'm just gonna be affected a little bit more on stormy days. The air pressure it really affects the pressure inside of you. So when you have a storm, especially during that buildup before the storm, you kind of get a buildup in the head too. I don't know if that's something that's just going to be one of my new normals or if that's something that I'll get used to, something that my body will get used to as it starts to learn and accept its new little friends. As of now, things are going pretty well, but I think I'm having a mass cell reaction just from having a foreign body implanted in me. I had one with my feeding tube. I had it with my port. I think my body just needs some time to get used to it. So eight minutes until they announce the winner. I'm very excited. Thank you for tuning in to our last winner announcement of the morning, not of the day, just before we head over to it's happening. our sister's here. <laughs> Let as me my know support who's joining in for our best in show YouTube winner announcement. I'm really excited about this one. Mm -hmm. I love YouTube. I wait for um condition by <laughs> turning it in. The following are the 2018 Wego Health Award finalists for Best in Show YouTube. She also Mickey is so This is Mickey. Old and has Ellis Danlos syndrome mm -hmm. after being Woohoo, Mickey. Years, she decided to share All her right, story Mickey. online to show others that there is joy to be found despite sickness. Represent. I know. Christina is a vlogger That's and me. artist fighting multiple chronic illnesses. Her desire is that through her videos, people can learn a little, laugh a little, find kinship, community, inspiration, and most importantly, find hope. Did you write that? I did write that. <laughs> I was going to say, dang. Yeah. All right, let's see. All winners. I love all of them, so, so I'm just really excited for anyone to win. There. I got a 2018 Best in Show YouTube winner. I'm living every day of my life in search of why. Congratulations! I don't know why I got cancer, I'm so, so excited for him now. I'm just excited. Congratulations, check 15. If you <laughs> haven't checked out their videos, I'm telling you, go do it. I'm to be more proactive they make really good videos. Health. Hey guys, I am just getting ready for the show now. I don't really know why. I felt like I had to like turn on my camera and talk to somebody about how <laughs> excited I was. So, yes. Oh, I feel so good to be like getting out of the house. Ever since we've been home, I've just been feeling really blech, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how to explain that blech feeling. I just... <sighs> I guess antsy and just like I'm having a hard time settling back in. Tried to get my video up today and our Wi-Fi has just completely gone out on us. I have no idea how to even go about fixing it. So that's been stressful. But forget about all that. I'm going to see Jekyll and Hyde. Super excited. Don't really know what to do with my hair at this point. It's been like a million years since I last washed it. And I just like don't know what to do with it. I'll probably just throw it back up in a bun. I'm getting so tired of putting my hair up in a bun. I just want to wear it down, but then the Velcro from the braces and stuff gets all caught. So I'll probably just put it back up. I also just grabbed the mail and there was a package from my friend Jane and she wrote on the box for me to open it on camera. So I'm just gonna open it now. Uh, oh, 
Oh, this is really sweet. I was just looking at this book the other day in the shop, actually. It is a devotional book, and it has a devotional for every day. It's called Jesus Calling, Enjoying Peace in His Presence. So I'm actually going to really enjoy that. Uh, thank you, Jean. That's so nice of you. You didn't have to send that. Okay, I need to put my hair back up. I went for a braid because braids are fancy. I've got this really cool maxi dress and I wish I could show you the full effect. I don't know, maybe when I stand up, I can try to get an outfit picture. Maxi dresses are just the best because it's great if it's hot, if it's cold, built-in blanket, don't have to shave your legs, no waistband to press on any incisions. It's just the perfect situation. Oh, and here's the dilemma, you guys. Okay. So, I finally, finally, finally am at a place with my mast cell, and I found some fragrance oils that I love, and I can tolerate, and it's awesome, and I just want to, like, smother myself in them, but I, I also know the other side, being a person who couldn't be around any smells, and I know that anybody wearing fragrances was like a huge issue for me and so I don't want to like turn around and be that person for other people but at the same time I want to finally enjoy <laughs> smelling good so I don't know I'm kind of torn I think I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on and just keep it like on my wrists so I can pull my sweater over it if it's bothering anybody this is like my favorite 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 thing ever it's called kindred spirits from anne of green gables and it smells like raspberry cordial and it smells so good oh i should get these hospital bracelets off what am i still doing wearing these it's like in les miserables when jean valjean rips up his papers room four two four one. <laughs> oh boy i have no idea where those went worth it okay so here's my outfit i've just got this little dress on with this little bralette underneath which i think is so cute because it's got these like little off the shoulder bits here but then it has like straps which don't actually stay up i just lost a ton of weight while i was in the hospital unfortunately um so it's not exactly got a lot to hold it up right now but I'll probably be putting the weight back on pretty quickly. Anyway, this is my outfit. Also, I'm wearing this sweater. And this sweater is so soft. It's American Eagle. And I just grabbed this new bag to carry around my feeding pump because it also fits my saline pump. So if I need to use both of them at once, I can do that. But this bag, I like because you can wear it like a regular bag or you can also wear it around your waist which is what I would normally do, except that right now I have an incision on my stomach and can't do that. So yeah, that is my outfit. I got this little necklace on. I think this is from American Eagle as well, like years ago. I really like their jewelry. Anyway, I will see you guys when I'm at the theater. Okay guys, it's happening. We're here. We're so excited. Yay! You guys know my cousin Taylor. We're seeing Jekyll and Hyde the musical. I could not be more excited. This is the one that I was really excited to see. And then Taylor was like, hey, I want to see that one. Yes, I'm excited. And she's never seen it. I read a little bit of the book, but I didn't get to finish it yet. <laughs> it's gonna be good. This is, I think it's better than this book. I don't know. We'll see. I'll check in with you guys after. Bye. Okay, guys. Tonight was like a dream come true in every single way. I made it to the show. I'm actually feeling reasonably decent. And first of all, the show was incredible. I absolutely love Jekyll and Hyde the musical and this was just, it was a wonderful version. They did such a good job. But more than anything, I am just feeling extremely grateful. You guys are not going to believe this. So I'm sitting there at intermission with my cousin Taylor. We're just hanging out. And one of the staff members came over to me and I was like, oh gosh. Like she probably saw me vlogging and wants to make sure I'm not like videotaping anything. But actually... She came over to say that she watches my videos and 
she was wondering if I would like to see backstage and under the stage after the performance was over. And I'm so sorry. I forgot her name. But if you're watching this, thank you so much. Message me with your name. I'm so sorry. I tried to like reverse internet stalk you to try to figure out what your name was. But I just couldn't find it. I wish I wasn't just so terrible with names. I know your fiance's name was Mike. I was so in awe of everything that I totally just blanked. But so yeah, the show was amazing. And then I got to go and get the tour and see the props and see how everything works under the stage because it is a round stage with a riser. So it's like a giant elevator and they have to get props on and off of it, people on and off of it. Oh my gosh, it was the biggest dream come true. I am such a huge nerd when it comes to costuming and props and just how things work. So now I have a little bit better of an idea of what it's like for the cast and crew. It was a lot. I did not expect so many things to be going on down there. It takes a lot behind the scenes to run a show and uh, make sure that nobody falls in the gaping hole left by the riser. I am speechless, so thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That just like made my life. I'm serious. This was what I was working towards all this time. All the nurses were like, you're gonna get to the show, you're gonna get to the show. And I was like, oh, I know I'm gonna get to the show. I told Dr. Lou, um, my neurosurgeon, last week, I was like, listen, I got theater tickets for Thursday, so we gotta get this working enough for me to be able to do that. And we did, and I did, and I'm so happy. <laughs> but tonight was just, it's a night I'll never forget, for sure, and Wow, I just, I I can't stop smiling. <laughs> Hello you guys, it is Friday. I've been pretty busy today working on a project. I've kind of been alluding to a project in the last few days, but never really showed you guys what I was making because I didn't know if I was going to be able to finish it on time. Um, I was contacted on Instagram by a company who does like canvas art prints. They're called Glory House and they're having a contest and they were looking for submissions. So I said I would make a piece or two to send in. And then I wasn't quite sure if I was going to be able to keep that promise. I like Amazon primed canvases from the hospital. They were waiting when I got home and I've basically been working on it since I got home. I had five original concepts, ended up drawing out three of them, started painting two of them, and finished one of them. And submitted it like right as the contest was closing. Uh, I don't really expect to win. If I did, then they would be selling prints of my artwork in their store, and I would get like a 5% commission. And then if I don't win, I have a new painting. <laughs> kind of plan to put it on Etsy, but I think my dad might want to hang it in his office. So the painting is right here behind me. I can show you it now. Now that I know it's actually finished and submitted. So it looks like this. It just says, God is within her. She will not fall. Psalm 46, 5. And I forgot to mention they are kind of like a Christian company and they do a lot of like bible verse quotes and they warned against using any quotes that were like copy written and so i figured the bible was just kind of safe um and i really liked that phrase i think it fit well and the other one i was working on is still in the working on process for sure and I'm not really submitting this one. It's gonna be a little bit different when it's finished. And I don't know, maybe I'll list that in my Etsy shop. I really, really, really wanted to film like a little time-lapse video of me painting it, but I was having issues with my computer, I was having issues with Wi-Fi, I was having issues with my memory card, and I just decided I needed to focus on one thing at once. So, sorry that my vlogs have really been slacking. I know that last week's vlog was totally completely late because i haven't put it up yet uh and it's now well, early morning on saturday so 
Oops. I had just taken on so many different things this month with so many different deadlines and totally didn't expect to be in the hospital for half of the month. So everything is a little bit behind. I have not been able to answer messages in forever. So if you have like Facebook messaged me, don't think I'm ignoring just you because I have not answered like a Facebook message in like months and I feel so terrible but can't do everything and I'm already honestly pushing it here <sighs> I don't know I want to focus more on these vlogs because I feel like I used to put a whole lot more work into them and they're more fun to watch and they had more just fun clips and scenes and stuff and recently when I'm filming it's just like <laughs> play-by-play -play updates about my health, which, I mean, that's all I could do, but I want to get back into enjoying the vlogs and using that as a more creative outlet. So, hopefully I can accomplish that. I also realize that this week is week 100, which is crazy. I can't believe that I have made 100 vlogs, that you guys have watched 100 vlogs, that you've known me for a hundred weeks it's just mind-blowing I don't know I guess that just kind of snuck up on me and I was kind of racking my brain I've done a lot of giveaways in the past and I've given away a lot of the same items but something I get asked constantly about is my pillow my big pregnancy pillow and it is like probably one of the biggest staples in my life. It goes everywhere with me. It went to the hospital. It went in the operating room with me multiple times. I stinking love my big body pillow and I want to share that with you guys. So I'm going to be giving away one of those to a lucky subscriber. All you have to do to win that is number one, be subscribed to me because this kind of is a video celebrating. The little community that we've built and uh, number two I guess leave a comment saying saying which of my videos was your first video like how did you find my videos and then I will have a giveaway link down in the description where you can officially enter the giveaway I don't want to do a giveaway just through the YouTube comments because the comments are kind of hard to sort out sometimes and the YouTube messaging system is awful I really wouldn't want to maybe not see all of the entries or pick a winner and then not be able to get a hold of them so it's just easier to do it through like an external giveaway site I should go to bed it's much later than I should be awake I'll see you guys tomorrow today you guys it is Sunday I am just finishing up editing this vlog that you are now watching so pretty proud of myself looks like we're officially back on track for my Monday publishing schedule yeah, I kind of haven't done a whole lot besides that today at all. It feels really, really good to just be back on track right now because I have such a busy week coming up. I've got something every day this week and, you know, it's back to reality, back to life, back to the 2,000 other things that are trying to fall apart. So if I can just have like one fewer thing to worry about this week, that is a good thing. So I'm going to close out this vlog and go try to wash my hair. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I guess I'm going to do it in the sink because I still have a bunch of staples in my belly. I'm going to see. If staples freak you out, you might want to look away for a second. This is what I've got going on right now. Uh, anyway. I'm going to say goodnight. Do not forget to enter the giveaway for the body pillow. The link will be down in the description. Let's say we'll run the giveaway for the next... What's today? We'll do the next month because it's nearly October 1st. So November 1st, we'll pick a winner. Alright, well, if you like this video, it'd be cool if you would give it a thumbs up. And you can hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos. Hopefully they'll be up on Mondays again. Uh, but if not, you can hit the bell button and it'll tell you whenever I upload a video. Or, you know, sometimes I upload more than one video a week. So, if you hit the bell button, you'll be the first to know. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye!